We have Richard Paul Evans uh, with us, who uh, has a uh, book out today, Miles to Go, book two in the Walk series. Um, how are you doing, Richard? I'm doing great. Good morning. How How are things? Things are well. All right. So I, the first Chinese cooking you uh, appliance oh, uh, book went so well <laughs> that now you've done a second one. No, no. The w- this is A-L-K. like walking to no, no. A L K. Yeah. Oh, A L. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Richard, you always uh, you're thinking right now. By the way, so you know, Richard has um, uh, Tourette's, and you have when you're near a celebrity. You have this um, desire to spit in their face, right? Yeah, the impulse. Yes. Yeah, the impulse. Um, okay, that okay, that's the difference because I have the desire sometimes to spit in the face <laughs> of celebrities. Um, do you have it when you're on the phone? No, I don't. Oh, okay. No, I have to. I have to see the person. Okay. So, um, and and you, this is a, something that you have dealt with your your whole life, and it is um, it, it's it's really a tough struggle, which I think leads you to write stories um like this you want to you want to start with um the um, um you know the, the advertising executive and the first book and what happened exactly the the, the walk is a, was a, is a series about a man a seattle advertising executive who loses everything he has this perfect life he has this wife he adores a great business a wall of awards a two million dollar home and in the course of uh, six weeks he loses everything and at first he contemplates suicide, and uh, then he he has a, a spiritual experience. He changes his mind. He decides instead he's going to walk. And so the walk series covers him from walking from Seattle, Washington, to Key West, Florida. That's not bad. I'm thinking about doing that maybe this afternoon. <laughs> I might but, I might actually do that myself. Um, Richard, uh, the... Um, I mean, we've talked about this before. I have friends who lost everything. But when the stock market crashed, they lost everything. They lost their home, everything. They had the perfect life. Um, and this scenario played out. I mean, it was they thought about suicide and everything, even though they, they thought that they were pretty well adjusted until they lost it. Are you hearing from people who um, uh, are experiencing this or have experienced this here in the last couple of years? Absolutely. Um, I think it surprised everyone, including the publisher, that the sales have been double what they expected. And uh, the letters, I get more mail off this than my other 17 books combined. I think we're in a time of loss right now, Glenn. I mean, it, it, people relate to this. People have lost their jobs. They've lost their homes. Um, because of the stress, they lose their marriages and their spouse. And, and so the letters I receive are just really phenomenal. I received one the other day from a, from a woman whose daughter had been she was, she was on suicide watch, and she sent her a copy of, of the book. And she said her daughter came back and was very grateful and said, Mom, I'm going to go on. And I received three letters from people telling me they were contemplating suicide until they read the book. And so it, it's Miles to Go is, is, and the Walk series is about hope. It's about finding hope again. Um, you were number four on the New York Times um, uh, bestseller list on the, on the um, first book. Um, I know that when we put out um, my book on the uh, seven, we saw, we saw letters I've never, ever seen before, ever. W- w- you have, like you said, wrote seventeen. You've written seventeen different uh, uh, books, all of them uh, New York Times bestsellers. Um, I don't know how many how many millions of copies of books have you sold? I think about fifteen million. Yeah, so fifteen <laughs> million books. I mean, that puts you in the category That's a couple. of of whom. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, come on. I mean, there's. I mean, uh, really, who has? Do you have any idea? I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. um, it, it, very few. Wait, maybe what, Stu? I'm guessing Tom Clancy. I mean, we're one of the most successful um, authors now of the current age. Um, we've done more. We uh, what was it? We've sold more in the last I don't know few years, or we've been on more number one best selling charts than anyone ever. Than even Elvis or the Beatles. Yeah, I think so. And Boxcar <laughs> Willie. Mm-hmm. And this guy dwarfs us. I mean, mm-hmm. there, there's nobody in this uh, in this category. So are, are you um, are you seeing different reaction? Because I, I I I've loved many of your books. You see different reaction to this one. A little bit different. Um, what I'm hearing more is from the men. 
Um, most of my readers, you go to my book signings, and I remember David Baldacci, the author, saying to me, Rick, you got it made. You go to a signing, you hug 200 women. Um, this one, I'm getting a lot of mail from men and because they're relating to it. So I'm hearing from both genders, which I love. And so it's expanding out. I'm hearing from uh, The Walk has brought a new reader, so people who have never read my books before or those who kind of uh, right. typecast me into writing Christmas stories. Right. You know, they're, they're able to stretch out and, and find something new. It's also an exciting book. Um, it, it's fun to follow someone on a journey because you don't know it's going to be on the next mile. You know, there's something coming up all the time. Are you, um, uh, do you have to read the first one to get the second one? No. Okay. No, I, I, wrote, I wrote it so you could jump into it. I think you'll probably want to go back and read the first one. Okay. Miles to Go is the name of the book. It's available everywhere. Uh, it's in the Walk series, but look for it. Miles to Go, I recommend you pick it up. Um, you're going to have a friend that is um, possibly in this situation that um, it, it will be helpful for you to understand it and for them. Miles to Go, um, a book of hope by Richard Paul Evans. Richard, thank you, sir. It's always great. Thank you, Glenn. You bet. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. This guy is one of the, one of the absolute good guys. One of the real mm -hmm. good guys.